following is a video training module on purchasing and technology by businesstraining.com. Greetings and welcome to Purchasing and Technology. We are pleased you have selected our program to gain knowledge about how the internet and technology plays a role in helping the purchasing expert to be successful in the purchasing field. The purchasing function has made large advancements over the last decade. The processes have become more streamlined thanks to technology. When computer technology was initially introduced to businesses, it was mainly to process internal data. This technology has advanced now to the point where an external in interaction is as simple as internal. Purchasing would not exist as it is known today if it were not for the many advances of computer-aided technology that we have at our disposal. The internet has put a wealth of knowledge at the fingertips of purchasing professionals. Through the internet, one can research products available for purchase, potential suppliers for specific material, specifications of material, and other information. With the use of the internet, buyers can also visit the supplier's website and find information about the supplier. Not only can one go to the supplier's website, there are other websites available that give information about the supplier's company, such as size, annual sales, principal owners, etc. The purchaser can exchange inf communication with the supplier via email. The World Wide Web, the Internet, has changed the way purchasing performs as a department. Since it has added efficient efficiencies that were never considered long ago. Electronic Data Interchange EDI, has given the purchasing professional capabilities that were at one point tedious tasks. Through EDI, purchasing is able to share objects or documents with the supplier, not just communication. For example, through EDI, purchase orders can be sent to suppliers. Not only purchase orders, but engineering dra drawings, shipping notices, etc. These items, prior to the technological advances, were communicated through mail. Generally, through mail, it took at least two days and sometimes a week to get this type of information to the supplier. In the instance of a purchase order, this task could add a week or more to the lead, to the lead time on getting apart. The main purpose for EDI was to minimize or eliminate manual intervention to make business processes faster. EDI also reduced, uh, reduced costs associated with manually exchanging data between the two companies. Today, EDI is used not only in purchasing, but in many areas of business such as finance, transportation, distribution, and warehousing, and insurance, just to name a few. Another area that technology has increased efficiencies is inventory. By using barcodes and radio frequency identification (RFID), barcodes uh, barcodes have been a means of simplifying inventory tracking and management for some time now. Barcodes look like labels, but they contain encoded data on them that are read with special bar barcode readers. This information on the labels can contain specific data about the product that will transfer into the company inventory system. Radio frequency identification (RFID) is a technology that uses radio frequency to transmit the identity of an item that contains a transmitter. Because of the newness of RFID, it is still expensive to maintain. Therefore, only large organizations with a lot of money to reinvest in the organization use RFID as a means of tracking inventory. Many organizations use software specifically designed to assist with purchasing management, inventory control, and vendor management. Most of the time, this software is fully integrated, meaning when an order is placed by the customer and entered into the computer system, purchasing is signaled to order what is not currently available in stock, but is needed to satisfy the customer's order. Once the order is placed and material is received, then accounting is signaled that an invoice will be arriving for the cost of material and delivery. The process continues through the financial statements to be produced. This type of system has checks and balances built in so that all transactions that need to take place for the cycle to be completed will happen. 
if it doesn't, the system will not, will not allow the financials to be accurate at the end of the accounting period. The books will be out of balance. Technology has allowed purchasing, purchasing to advance over the last decade. No doubt, technology will continue to introduce new and different ways to be more effective and efficient in your job. It is important for the purchasing expert to keep in tune with the various changes that are happening around them. There is no way to incorporate all the advances in this one presentation. One key way to keep yourself abreast of the many advances in the technology is to stay informed of the changes that are happening around you. And one way to accomplish this is to remain certified as a purchasing management expert.